I'm Alan Anderson. I'm Kathy Doonan. I'm Kathy Rankin. And I'm Jessica Warren. Hey everyone, we're the Children's Hospital School teachers back with you for another fun science experiment revolving around the Children's of Mississippi logo. This time, we're gonna talk about the kite. Did you know that the kite was used in a famous experiment by Benjamin Franklin to show that electricity really was used as lightning? In a thunderstorm, Benjamin flew a silk kite that he placed with a pointed wire on top. He placed a string on the kite and he placed a metal key on the end. He laid that metal key by a Leyden jar. A Leyden jar is a container that actually holds electricity. He noticed the loose strands on the string began to stand straight up. He also noticed that when he placed his hand close to the metal key, that the positive charges from his hand was attracted to the negative charges from the key, and he felt a spark. Then, he also was able to collect that electricity in that laden jar for later use. This eventually led to the lightning rod and the understanding of positive and negative charges. Of course, we now know that it's a dangerous idea to fly a kite in a thunderstorm. But let's learn the science behind an electrical storm. What causes lightning? Well, clouds are made up of water and ice particles that hold both positive and negative charges. These particles move all around in the cloud. As they move around, they rub against each other, and this is friction. This friction causes the positive and negative charges to move apart, causing electrical charges. The top of the cloud is now positive. The bottom of the cloud is now negative. The negative parts really want to attract to the positive charge of the ground, especially things that are sticking up, like a tree, maybe a metal fence, even people sometimes. When these two forces join together, it creates a lightning bolt. Today, we are going to make our own lightning. Here's what you'll need. A blown up balloon, a fluorescent light bulb, and it really works best if you have a dark room too. We'll start by taking our balloon, rubbing it on your hair or somebody else's hair will work too. Then you're gonna touch the balloon to your light bulb. See how this makes my hair stand up? That's called static electricity. That static electricity is gonna run into the chemicals inside the fluorescent bulb. And it's gonna make it light up. Are you ready to try it? Here we go. Rub, rub, rub. Get some good static. All right, one, two, three. Thanks for joining us for another hair raising experiment in the Question It, Discover It series. We're the hospital school teachers and we've enjoyed spending this time with you. Thanks so much. <laughs>